this clip is going to take the data here, the horse data, and use the advanced filter to demonstrate how to find horses that uh, meet some more complex criteria. So say we want to find horses that have a certain number of letters in their breed. In other words, the word Arabian here, there's eight, there's seven letters in the word Arabian. How do we extract horses that have a certain number of letters in their breed, maybe a certain number of letters in their uh, color, and a certain number of letters or number of characters in their um, temperament. So it's characters, I suppose, rather than letters, I should be saying. So in Excel, you have wildcard characters that can be used to achieve that, to filter the data. So we have 100 rows of data here, and we're going to just uh, extract those that meet certain conditions. So the, the exact question we're going to answer is the third question here on this list, number eight. We're looking for horses with a breed that's exactly eight characters, a color that's exactly five characters, and a temperament that's exactly four characters. So I'm going to copy the question. I'm going to go back to my horse data, uh, the original data, and I'm going to make copy that sheet. I'm going to have my, my answer to this question on a new sheet, create a copy of it. I'll rename it as Q8. Then down the bottom, I'm going to insert a text box where I put in the question. I'm going to draw a new text box. I'm going to paste in the question so I don't misread it or I don't um, get misled along the way. So we're looking for horses that have a breed of exactly eight characters, a color that's exactly five characters, and a temperament that's exactly four characters. So it's breed, color, and temperament. So the in order to build my criteria down here, somewhere I would say on row 107, 108, I'm going to need to fill in uh, field names or column names here and then put my criteria underneath them. So I'm going to go back up the top and I'm going to guess its breed. I think it's color and temperament. So again, I don't need to, have to copy. Normally I would copy all of the field names and bring them down and then just use the two or three I need. But in this case, two or three I need are all beside each other. So I'm just going to uh, take those three bring them down just below my question and paste them in here in row 106 and then start uh, looking at the actual the details. So the, the question mark character in Microsoft in within Excel is a symbol for one character. So what I need here is eight question marks for the breed. So I have four domain, that's five, six, seven, eight. There's eight there now. Three and three is six and two is eight. So if I put eight question marks in this cell, um, Excel ex accepts them, but this mightn't work out as you'll see in a moment. So there's eight question marks there. Um, I'm going to put five in the color slot. Is it five, I think, or is it six? It's five. And the temperament, I'm going to go for four. I think I have my three criteria in, 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 in place, but maybe they're not. So we're going to try and use those, uh, what do you call it, those, those criteria to then find the appropriate horses. So it's because it's and, we're looking for a breed of, of eight characters, a color of five characters, and a temperament of four. That's why they're all in the same row. If it was an R condition, they'd be split over three rows. So let's see where it takes us anyway. So we're going to go up into the main body of data. We're going to go over to the, the data option and choose the advanced filter. Excel, using its intelligence, is nominating the correct rows, A1 to M101. Then I go to my criteria range. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to pick my criteria from the breed over as far as the temperament. And once that's done, I'm going to press the OK button. So does Excel do what I want it to do? It doesn't appear to be. Okay, it's still showing all 100 rows. And that's because there's an error here in my criteria. And the, um, the error relates to the way I've actually entered the values. So I should have an equal sign in front of all of those. So when I put equal in front of my, before my eight question marks and press return, Excel doesn't like that. But the reason it doesn't like that is when, when, when you see if, when, when Excel sees an equal symbol at the start of a cell uh, contents. It thinks I'm trying to build a formula. So, 
trouble here is that equals followed by a series of question marks doesn't look like a normal formula because we're in the filtering um the filtering part of, the, of excel so the way you kind of fool excel is by sticking a single quote before the equal symbol so now i have a single quote followed by equals followed by my eight question marks and that single quote kind of cancels the normal uh, role of equals uh, in terms of calculation terms and normal addition and multi multiplication and division so the this the single quote character in front of it up on this up on the top here where this in the in the editing area is what's important now when i press the return key actually in the cell that sing that, that single quote vanishes but when i click into the cell again and then go back up to the top you can see it's there just in front of the equal symbol so it's there even though you mightn't realize it by looking directly at the cell on its own by looking at directly at cell c107 you mightn't uh Think there's a neat, there's a single quote there in front of it so likewise for my color i'll try the same i'll try to break the rules the same way i put an equal symbol just to prove it wasn't a fluke last time equals and four and five question marks for the color and again press return excel doesn't like it go back and put in my single quote and finally for my temperament uh i'm going to put in my single quote first followed by my equal symbol and press return so there are the, the 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 question mark here is is basically a, a wild card so it's substitute for any letter in the alphabet or any character so it doesn't matter what letter the horse's names the horse's breed start with or what letter it ends in as long as it's eight characters in total in there same with the color doesn't matter what's that letter it starts with or what letter it ends with or what's in between as long as there are five characters in the color and likewise with the temperament we're looking for exactly four characters so now we go back up and have another attempt at trying to get this uh, advanced filter um, example working as we hoped it would a few minutes ago. So we click on the advanced filter option under data. And again, does Excel choose the right cells? It's, it's choosing A1 to M101. That looks good. That's the full from the horse ID value down in, in row on row one, that heading down as far as the very last value on row uh, 101, value 1000 here in the corner. It's selecting the right cells. And then I have to just check my criteria range. Okay, because if my criteria range is incomplete, uh, Excel won't, won't answer my question properly. So it starts at C106, and it's ending at E107. So that's correct. E C106 is where the value, the word breed is. And E107 is where my four questions for my temperament are located. So it gives you the top left-hand corner of the cell range and the bottom right-hand corner. That's the kind of the, that's the, what you're keeping an eye on. So we've, we appear to have the right list range. We appear to have the right criteria range. And assuming that my question marks behave as I said that, that they'd behave, each question mark represents a single character. So therefore, when we have eight question marks, we will get... Uh, only horses that have a breed with eight with eight letters in the breed name or eight characters in the breed name, including spaces. And likewise, the five question marks stand for a color that consists of, that occupies five, five characters and the temperament with four. So we press the OK button. And what do we end up with? We end up with just one horse on this list that is a breed that's got eight characters. So Shetland, S-H-E-T is four characters. L-A-N-D is four more. That's fine. The brown has five characters for the color, and temperament is calm. So that's the only horse in the list that meets all three conditions. A breed of exactly eight characters, and a color of five, and a temperament of four. So that's how to use the advanced filter to search for something precise like that using the question mark symbol, which is a wild card that represents any, any individual character. So just to prove that, that that worked properly, we'll just kind of... Uh, Bring back the original, we'll expose the full 100 rows again. And you can see that there's, if you just check carefully, there's uh, very few other horses. The brown ones are all are all of five characters, but not all of the brown ones have um, eight characters in their breed. Arabian has seven. Okay, so every other horse you check there, none of them meet the criteria of exactly eight characters in the name, and the breed, sorry, five characters in the color, and four in the temperament. So that's how to use the uh, wildcard, the question mark symbol, but don't forget the single quote that goes in front of the equals character. When you're doing any of these filters, especially those more ambitious ones where you're looking for 
a sequence of characters or a certain pattern, the equal symbol always needs a single quote in front of it for it to behave appropriately in this filtering, um, this filtering kind of section or component of Microsoft Excel. So that's the end of the clip.